If you're applying to medicine, I'm gonna talk about a few books now that are going to, number one, inspire you, number two, make you fall in love with the profession if you haven't already or if you're thinking about doing it, but number three, if you are applying, there is no doubt that you need to be reading these books to stay ahead and up to date with all of the topics that people are talking about and when you get asked in your personal statement and to interview of any further reading that you've been doing, these are some of the books that come up frequently and it helps to know a little bit about just in case you get questions about them. So for my recommendations, in at number five is The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat by Oliver Sacks. He was quite a distinguished neurologist with about 50 years of experience and this thought-provoking book really dives into the intricacies and mysteries of the human mind. Sacks shares some real-life stories of people who are having difficulties losing their memory, failing to recognize simple objects, or even familiar faces. The emotional tales told give us a profound insight into how our brain works, revealing the intriguing connection between medicine and psychology. At number four, we have The Intern Blues by Robert Marion. Now this will give you a fantastic insight into the reality of the struggle of being a junior doctor. So Dr. Marion was a senior doctor that was supervising a few interns on their very first year working as doctors, and he asked them to keep a detailed diary of their experience for that entire year. In the memoir, Marion delves into the raw reality of the year-long internships, how exhausting they were, what the 100-hour work weeks were like, life or death decisions, and surviving the meager amounts of sleep that were the norm. Word of warning, the gruelling conditions might make you question the career, but just to bear in mind that this was written in 1985, and a lot of rules and regulations have been put in place since then to minimise these ridiculously long work weeks and actually protect uh, trainees hours much more now so it's very different but still some of the stories and some of the experiences are still the same today. And number three we have a really popular one which is Do No Harm by Henry Marsh. All of my medical students that I help on my program love this book. So many have read it and find it so inspiring and profound. Do No Harm offers an insight into the highs and lows of a life dedicated to operating on the human brain. Marsh is an amazing storyteller and really captures the drama and intensity of every single surgical procedure that he talks about. It's a captivating exploration of the complexities of the human brain and the challenges faced by neurosurgeons. Then at number two, we have another neurosurgeon author who's Paul Kalanithi, and wrote an amazing book called When Breath Becomes Air. This book is one of my personal favorites. It's a memoir of a very successful neurosurgeon in the USA who's also incredibly smart, very philosophical. He really profoundly describes what his life was like as a surgeon, then getting a diagnosis of lung cancer, going through treatment, and just really profoundly examines the relationship between patient and doctor and how privileged one is to be able to help people in such a meaningful way. Despite the somber topic, the book is is undeniably inspiring and it will be unforgettable for medical students and anyone considering a career in medicine. It's a book that will really make you appreciate the beauty and the fragility of life and again just reiterate how profoundly important and privileged having a role as a doctor is. And finally it might not be a surprise that we're putting this at number one because as great as all those other books are this is one of them that is set in the UK and explains very candidly about what the experience is like. That is This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay. In the book a former junior doctor offers a brutally honest account of his experiences in the obstetrics and gynaecology department of an NHS hospital. Drawing from his personal diaries, written after long and exhausting shifts, Kay leaves no detail spared in providing an unfiltered glimpse into the life of a junior doctor. It's a very raw depiction of what life is like as a junior doctor and what you're letting yourself in for, which is why it is a great read to go in with your eyes open for the med school application. If you found this useful and you want some more help with getting into medical school, I recommend that you check out this video here where we just give you an insight of everything that we offer to help you on your journey to either medical or dental school in the UK. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over in one of those videos.